Hi, good morning. I am Anup and today I will be the presenter for this webinar. The main agenda of this webinar is to enable uh, the audience to understand how you can digitally transform all your operations and that too in a quick turnaround time. So let me take you over the contents of this webinar on what I, what I would be covering today. So we will be looking at what is the current situation, why is it difficult to deliver a digital solution in these days, then coming to the next point, how Mendix as a low-code platform would help you overcome these challenges, then we would also go over uh, what the market leader says, uh, what is the application lifecycle of Mendix, what all you can do with Mendix how you can develop better solutions with Mendix. Deliver a broad set of skills and solutions using one tool. Accelerate your development ecosystem. And what are the resources needed for your success in, in your journey for digital transformation. Then also we'll look at how you should approach on adopting Mendix in your current organization to digitally transform all your operations. Finally, we'll look at what are the different solutions that Prolim uh, has created which can be uh, plugged and played sort of and directly used for your internal, internal usage with a few custom modifications as and when needed. Right. So let me go to the current scenario. So. Uh, the current scenario is that there is a high demand from businesses within enterprise uh, to deliver digital products and we are we as developers are not able to keep up with the demand this is majorly because there is a, a supply and demand gap and almost 76 percent of the cios have said that there is a demand for new digital product and services uh, every time from business right and also what we have found out is there are a lot of difficulties in meeting the deadlines and also delivering them uh, according to a survey most of the projects get delayed by at least six months so this is the current scenario that we are dealing with now why is this so so one major challenge that we see in today's world is that there is a lot of miscommunication between the business and the IT. That is one of the major reasons you see that uh, the uh, that there is a delay in the project deliverables. Then also, because of this mis miscommunication, there is almost 40% of the times when a solution has to be reworked. Then next, uh, most of the uh, shortages are also because there is a lack of supply or there is a lack of engineering skill set to fulfill these roles. So if you look at the current scenario, if you want to uh, fulfill all these skill sets, it would take us easily about seven to eight years to uh, fulfill all the roles. Then most of the f uh, leaders think that the data and technology is only IT and not them. Along with that, what we have also seen is there are a lot of moving parts even when it comes to development. There is, for example, there is there are data engineers or DB engineers, there are uh, DevOps tools, there is a CI CD that you have to build up, there is a infrastructure management team, there is a development team. So bringing all of these teams into harmony uh, takes a long time and uh, the supply here is also falling short. So because of these reasons, you see that there is a gap in the deliverables and there is a supply and demand gap. Now, how do we overcome, um, overcome this uh, challenge? So Mendix believes in a simple language which can be established between business and IT, faster deliverables using visual representations 
and reusable modules components and governance structure within the application so that the development is faster as well as the deployment of the applications is also faster right moving on to the next slide now what what do we get with mendix or how do we say that mendix is one of the leaders in low code platforms so if you look at it the major advantage with mendix is the modeling of the application is all visual so you can actually see your application being developed uh, on the go then we are, mendix already has a lot of uh, solutions that have been published and which can be reused in a lot of components or reusable components and basis analysis over the last few years mendix has been recognized as a leader in low code platform in the next slides i'll explain more about that as well then we part we have partnered with uh, a lot of industry leaders uh, to come up with solutions connectors etc some of them being sap as well one of them being sap as well siemens also has put in a lot of push behind mendix and develop its development so uh, siemens has over siemens and mendix put together have over 3600 patents uh, close to 5000 partners worldwide and close to 4.6 billion in budget just for mendix next if you look at the gartner chart who are one of the leading analysis company to look at on the low code platform uh, they put mendix in the first quadrant which indicates the leaders right so the other major uh, competitor that i could say is uh, out systems but as you see uh, on the third chart here which is as of july 2021 you see mendix is much higher than any other competitors this this is done through open surveys and other methodologies uh, you can go and check the gartner uh, charts for this one as well and even forester uh, placed mendix on the top of the chart as well right moving on to application life cycle so mendix uh, operates in a very simple manner uh, which uh, for the application development one is ideate develop test deploy operate ideate uh, again to say put in more enhancements and other things into the application and the cycle follows so as you can see on the deck you can develop better and faster solutions uh, uh, faster on a platform built for teams uh, deliver solutions from a single simple approval apps to a digital experience ensure high quality well architected applications from all the developers deploy at any scale on the cloud of your choice so one good thing with mendix is you can deploy it on any cloud of your choice so i'll come to that in the following slides update govern and manage your application landscape uh, from a single control panel that you choose so moving on to the next one so what can you do with mendix so you can as i said digitize your operations so we can build saas applications we can do onboarding applications we can build b2c mobile applications self service portals automate business processes basically approval workflow incident management maintenance management predictive maintenance etc we can do all of those then also modernize your core systems like uh, mobile sap supply chain smart warehousing work order management lotus notes refresh so all of this can be done using mendix right these are some of our diff, uh, some of the mendix uh, users who have develop different capabilities for different verticals like uh, for digitizing experience you can look at armex uh, suez robo bank etc if you look at automating business process uh, the entire dubai municipality is built on mendix pl mendix platform and modernizing 
core systems it is azure bdc etc as well then coming to the next one develop better solutions faster on a platform built for teams so mendix has two components so mendix actually has three components on how you can divide uh, the development experience needed for uh, application building you can take it from citizen developers to professional developers so mendix as i said the three components of mendix are no code low code and code whereas no code is meant for citizen developers or we can also call them novice developers then low code you would require moderate development proficiency and you can also take the control of the entire system and even code on mendix wherein you would require professional development experience and all of this can be done through mendix studio pro or studio which stores everything on a single team server which can be accessed by all the developers they can make changes their to their own branch lines or even the main line then after a commit by after a commit all the other developers can also see the latest change right so how do we get started with mendix or why do why is mendix faster so to start with mendix has some common templates apps and design systems which you can drag and drop within your application uh, to start creating the application to start building your application then mendix unlike other development platforms you do not require any other external tool to track your sprint stories and requirements all of that can be done using mendix application itself wherein you can as you can uh, uh, track your sprints build your stories assign your stories mark deadlines mark due dates then look at the development and also there is a version control which is built within mendix through which you can look at what is the current version what are the changes made and all of the other things in in the platform itself then uh, using the inbuilt ci cd that mendix already has you can deploy it so it's a one click deployment that you can do wherein on a click of a button your app can be published to your cloud then uh, packages can be shared or and common components can be shared so there is if there is a module that you have built in one of your apps and you want to reuse that particular module you can export that module and import it to all of your other apps so that it can be reused so that is how you have a shared infrastructure you have a shared infrastructure wherein you can have all your common modules which you can transport it to any other applications that way you can have a lot of components that are already ready and also mendix has a marketplace through which you can uh, download a lot of widgets and uh, components which you may need for your application development now how do we deliver a broad set of solutions with one skill uh, one skill and tool right so the screen that you are seeing here is of mendix studio pro and as you can see uh, this is a visual development and the on the top here you can see it is now selected the mobile template this is a tablet template and this would be a desktop template depending on the template you can drag and drop widgets you can drag and drop uh Uh, tools and functionalities and start building so that is how uh, this is a visual development and this can be uh, shared with all the your team for a collaborative development and your business stakeholders can also view things as they are getting developed then next uh, as we mentioned you can deploy it on any cloud of your choice so there are multiple options one is the mendix cloud itself wherein you just once you have your cloud node you can directly deploy it to the mendix cloud apart from that you can deploy it on your uh, cloud of your choice it might be aws it might be azure it might be sap or google cloud for that matter you can deploy it 
then you also have the option of on-premises deployment wherein uh, you can deploy it on the choice of your server then next uh, when we when it comes to uh, development the actual development what you can see on the screen is something called as a micro flow wherein uh, this actually is your functionality build so for example if this I am building a functionality for a save button uh, you have to build a micro flow like this uh, to tell the system what should happen on the save button and you as you can see there is a lot of annotations that can be given and as and when you start executing these micro flows or building these micro flows uh, <clears throat> the system gives a suggestion on what can be done next based on the for the page which you are developing this or for where you have associated this it will start giving you suggestions apart from that uh, it has a lot of learning capabilities and big data capabilities that also can be built in and uh, we can do a lot of analytics as well and next comes data integration so uh, in this age of digital technology we have a lot of data sources uh, your data might be sitting in multiple different clouds or your on-premises servers or anything like that so we can uh, integrate all of that using rest apis or soap apis and when it comes to something like sap we already have inbuilt connectors which mendix and sap in a collaborative manner have developed them so uh, just like uh, SAP, you, you, we also have a lot of connectors even for uh, Microsoft services we have graph APIs through which uh, we connect to, we can even connect to Teams etc. So there are a lot of connectors available ex and also if you want to connect to any other database we have JDBC uh, connectors as well through which we can connect to anything and everything. Right. So as long as the other system allows or has that capability, we can do any kind of uh, connections. Then next, uh, one of the major feature that we also see in this application is we can build a lot of workflows. And here, if you look at the screen, it is a simple workflow wherein uh, there are parallel splits happening, there are approvals happening, uh, there are processes that are jumping or ending at certain uh, points and all of this can be built within no time. And during a single application build, as we know, uh, uh, a lot of applications are being used in different environments. It might be a laptop, it may be a desktop, it may be a mobile phone or it may be a tablet. All of that can be built using a single tool and uh, you uh, reuse all the components or the logic layer that is there just play around with the UI here and there to optimize it for each one of the devices and you can uh, publish the application and it would be available for uh, all, all the available screens and even we can build native applications using the same uh, tool as well there is no requirement for you to uh, develop the native application in a separate tool then how do we accelerate your digital transformation using Mendix? So currently if you look at, uh, so there are 200 plus partners, developers and universities that are uh, leading in Mendix or are leaders in Mendix is what I can call. And al along with that Mendix has market marketplace widgets through which you can uh, download a lot of widgets a lot of components which you can use so for example if you look at the representation here this is a 3d viewer that is there so uh, any of your jt files or anything like that which uh, is an assembly file uh, used in plm and other uh, automotive industries you can render it within Mendix using some of these widgets. So there is no additional development required there. Only download the component, make necessary configurations and you are ready to go. So like this, we have like this Mendix has a lot of components, connectors, design systems, templates, adaptive solutions, responsive solutions as well. And uh, there are also services uh, that can be extended using Mendix and uh, build a lot of applications using 
the template that you want or for that matter i can say you want to build a monolith application you can do that you want to build a microservice application you can do that so uh, there are a lot of things you can integrate it with your iot devices or integrate it with your iot layer uh, representation layer and stuff like that and you can accelerate your ecosystem so basis my experience what i have seen is if we go with some of the traditional stacks like say java php dot net or something some other uh, traditional stacks if a piece of development that would have taken you close to 3 months the same can be done in mendix almost in a month and a half time so that is the time reduction that you see and also the reduction in the man force as well then what are the success uh, what are the resources that you need for your success right so mendix uh, provides multiple kind of support there is community support there is digital execution practice then there is a there would be a customer success manager assigned to you and if needed you can uh, take expert services apart from partners like us prolim mendix also provides expert services which uh, if you actually have a need uh, and fall back to them uh, they are the experts in building any kind of solutions because they are the architects of mendix itself so these are the resources that are at your steps for your success then how do you start adopting mendix into your ecosystem right so first you start first app goes live validate the low code value or basically this is a validation step wherein you say yes do i not need to go with the low code and how good is mendix for me then expand your portfolio uh, grow your team uh, while also training your internal teams on uh, developing mendix applications then once the structure is in place scale your model to build all your internal requirements and any other applications on on mendix and coming to the next point i would like to speak more about what are prolims capabilities in in the mendix sphere so i would like to highlight that uh, in one of the ecosystems here uh, we have digitally transformed operations for one of the ev companies right from their generation of the vehicle identification number to their logistics everything all the apps uh, which are used there are built on mendix so as a part of that i am just showing you one of the uh, screens wherein uh, it it shows the movement of evs from plant to the dealership then also we have integrated the uh, many of these applications i think so there are close to 8 or 9 applications that are running for their digital as a part of their digital transformation on mendix and they have there are integrations between between the mendix applications and also between sap and mendix applications apart from that there are a couple of other applications that also have been integrated with uh, uh, mendix here right and during all of this there are a lot of pre checks validations before the vehicle is released even it even to the dealership and for that matter from dealership to the customer so all of that is tracked uh, using mendix applications right uh, one one of the examples is there is uh, for this ev customer we have built a application called as a part tracker wherein the chassis is uh, married with a uh, battery pack or a hmi or a vcu unit right so all of this uh, because they have unique serial numbers or uh, unique uh, identifiers each of them is scanned and married to the chassis when and it also has a lot of other checks and balances to make sure if there is something faulty or uh, uh, is found out at the qa layer of uh, this uh, particular process uh, the parts are unmarried and remarried with a new part and stuff like that so all those check checks and balances so this is done with a simple qr code scanner when i mean to say qr code it can also be extended to a barcode as well not not restricted to qr code 
then there are few other applications that we have in our portfolio uh, that are there even on our website configure price quote is the most common one apart from that we have uh, asset management which we also use internally for our uh, asset management needs then employee training management then we have service management energy resource management is a coupling uh, is a coupled uh, application wherein uh, it the data comes to this application from the iot service layers and we we manage uh, details like uh, uh, the usage of the windmill predictive maintenance preventive maintenance and all of that on the mendix application then we have supply chain management uh, application as well so these are few of the applications that are present even on the prolem website store you can go ahead and look for more on that and in the next slide i have just mentioned the links for uh, uh, these videos uh, as well so so these were some of our solutions that we have and uh, thank you for hearing me out uh, please do let me know if you have any questions thank you